it's time to punch one of two tickets to the Super Bowl. It's the coach, and this is the Madden Ultimate Team Playoffs between our visitors and the Miami Dolphins. With that, let's get down to Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. Standing by for the call, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. From up top next to Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, And folks, we were already excited for this game. And then before the contest, you and I are down the field outside the white line. Yes, we were following the rules. We were following the rules. And a ball comes over our direction, but we can't see it. Somebody yells heads up. And instinctively, you turn around and you snare it one-handed with your off left hand. So now we're really ready for football. No gloves either. No gloves. No gloves. Not like the guys are wearing playing the game now. But wasn't that a whole lot better than that time we were down there? And I got the coffee spill on me when I got nailed by the punt return. That happened to the Vikings, right? Yeah, it's a much better job of being heads up this time. Thank you for that. Thank you for the notice. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. Bringing them out onto the field, Michael Vick, the all-time leading rusher from the QB position, over 6,100 yards. Yeah, he averaged seven yards per carry. Another NFL record for him. How about the nicknames that, that people gave him? The human joystick, human cheat code. I'm just telling you, watching him play, I put muscles in the booth watching it. And that's caught inside the 30. It's a gain of 35. Well, how about a deep ball on the first play from scrimmage, putting that secondary on notice? Brandon, all I remember when I was a player is that we always took a test the night before the game about teams' tendencies and what they what they plan to do. I'm not sure we think deep ball right out of the gate and putting us back on our heels. A really nice gain of 25 yards. So the same tandem connecting on back-to-back -back throws to start the game. And maybe throwing the scouting report off just a little bit. That's not exactly what they think is going to be their number one receiver, but he's producing already early in this game. Running it for the NFL's Offensive Rookie of the Year a season ago, Zaquan Barkley. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Taking it in from four yards out. And they are able to strike first here on their opening drive. A three place already in the end zone. That was quick. We always talk about offenses understanding what they want to do before they go into a game. And they practice it. They have their script in the plays they want to open with. But defenses aren't just reactive. They have their own ideas as well. These ideas didn't get implemented very well. Three plays and a touchdown already scored against them. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. As we field it at the eight. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. Miami's offense taking the field and a big spotlight on the quarterback spot, and that might be the case as we go forward this season. Now, week one, they go with Ryan Fitzpatrick. He did throw a touchdown, and that means that he is now the record setter. He's thrown a touchdown pass for eight different NFL teams, but the bottom line, Charles, they only put up 10 points in this game. Yeah, and Josh Rosen came in and played, but didn't do a heck of a lot. But it'll be interesting to see what the Dolphins decide to do at that position as this season rolls along, because right now, they're struggling at all positions. So we'll see how that plays out. But how about that? Eight different NFL teams. Ryan Fitzpatrick's in a touchdown pass. He and his wife, seven children. Sometimes those lines that are drawn on a grease board or in a playbook, they come to life <laughs> out on the field, don't they? And we just saw down that outside handoff to the right. That right tackle, he gets excited for that call, doesn't he? He does, because he just wants to dominate his guy and say, listen, I was the point of attack. I took care of business. That's why you're able to get downfield and add all those yards to your total. Yeah, really nice game there. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. The previous play big on the ground. That was big through the air. Things have jumped up quickly. Certainly appears that whatever their thought process is on the defensive side of the ball, they're one play behind. You know, loaded up for the pass, they hit them with the run. Load up for the They hit him with the pass. They've got to get in sick. Oh, first down. It's Jackson. 
Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. That opening drive rhythm continues right into play number three. Whatever they decided that they wanted to run before the game, it's working pretty well for them right now. Moving the ball downfield at a nice rate. And guess what? I think the chain crew might have to get a little oxygen over there. They have to keep moving down through the first downs on each play. This pass caught at the four. Now the step will come inside the five at the four. Only a yard of the completion. It's second and goal. Second and goal from inside the five. Throwing his long. Under pressure now, and he's going to go down. Sack back around the eight. From his linebacker spot, that's Derek Brooks for the sack. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. They couldn't find anywhere to go with the football. Had to eat it and ended up on the ground. So they're back at the seven now for third and goal. To throw his lock. And he's going to go down again. Derek Brooks picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Charles, a little bit of feast or famine on this drive. They moved the ball okay, but they've been sacked twice now. And they've got to figure out how to plug that leak a little bit, right? Keep them away from the quarterback because when he's not being hit, as you mentioned, they're moving the ball well. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. Now it's scooped up, and this is a live football. Please tell me this doesn't come off as snarky, but that's a relative chip shot. I mean, you've got to be able to execute that one. I don't care what they design on the other side about trying to block the kick. That should be three points on the board. Yeah, you know, we've talked about it before. If you're out at 55, 60 yards, low trajectory from here, you get that thing up, this should be three. Yeah, I, there's nothing routine in football, but this one really almost should be. Snap, hold, kick, ball through the post. Didn't happen that way. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them at 7 0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. Ready for the second quarter, and it's our visitors with the football as they are looking at a second down and six coming up. The run got four. Now they deal with a second six. Throwing Vic. He'll rifle this one deep right side. It's caught inside the 25. Touchdown. A big play there. 71 yards. And his guys get the quick strike touchdown. Well, you know he can be explosive, and he's ultra-explosive there on the fly route. And you know how many times we've talked to coaches, and we've had quoted back to us, well, you know something? When you execute really well, it doesn't matter if they know it's coming or not. But sometimes athleticism beats you as well. He just took off and went. That's almost like one of your turkey bowl games, isn't it? Just go long, man. I'll hit you. It worked really well for them. Lux with the extra point, and it's now 14-0. That drive started on their own 25. Two plays, 75 yards later, into the end zone. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Miami taking the field here, and we mentioned the 59-10 thrashing at the hands of Baltimore in week one. So now let's look forward. The next few weeks, should Charles, we? Really? Should I, we? Go? I was going to say the schedule gets tough. New England, Dallas, and then the Chargers. Home for New England. Now, there is hope there because it seems like Miami upsets New England at home just about every year, right? For whatever reason, they play them tough. At Dallas, home for the Chargers, and then they have their open week. We'll find out what they're going to do at the quarterback position throughout that time, and maybe after the open week they make a change. 31 players on the 53-man roster, brand new to Miami this season. On a jet sweep, here comes Moore. Eddie Jackson with a tackle. They tried to quick hit her inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping 
this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. And that'll hurt the average bit as this time they're able to get behind the line. That'll be a loss of a yard and it'll lead to a third down. Two minutes to play, first half. It's 14 to nothing. A reminder, coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report. But business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coaches. And now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. And this is picked up by the defense. And a huge return. So he'll take this one all the way down inside the 30-yard line. We got it. We got it. The psychology of the game never ceases to amaze me because you would think there would never be a fumble. It's what we hear from coaches all the time, right? And how much they practice not fumbling. Practice it, preach it, talk about it all the time. You would think no one would ever. And he gets into the end zone for the touchdown. Emmanuel Sanders. 27 yards and his guys find a way to stretch that lead as a fan is there anything prettier than a well executed post route no it's a thing of beauty especially when it's done like that for a touchdown how uh, the throw the catch and how about the run after to get it to the end zone a nice tidy little drive there getting the ball in excellent field position and only one play to score this fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will get touched back, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you know. Watch it. We know. And he loses the football a second time. It's going the other way. And they will take over at the 29-yard line. So the defense there, opportunistic. It's nice to give them credit, isn't it? Because so many times it's more a matter of what the offensive guy didn't do. He didn't secure the ball, didn't cover up. In this case, just give credit to where it belongs. Knocked it free, made a big throw. That throw by Vic, incomplete. Alshon Jeffrey, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, he'd be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. It's a gain of about three, but it's going to leave him with third and still seven yards to go. Now Saquon Barkley. That's a room to run now. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. Saquon Barkley with his second touchdown here in this first half. And his guys are going to add on to their lead. And always a good first half when you can hit pay dirt twice. And it never hurts to have that good feeling as the game moves on. Just think about halftime. If, it, if this is all he gets, he'll just sit there at the half and think, all right, two already. I get some more. I get some more. He'll be encouraging his offensive line to create some space. Lutz good on the extra point. And the route is on here in this first half. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. And ball security has been a big issue. You see the numbers there. He's fumbled twice already. And whenever we talk about ball security, it's not simply how you're holding the ball when you run it. It's all the other things that you do. Is it in proper arm, meaning the sideline is protecting you? Are you dipping a shoulder to protect the ball as well? And obviously, the four points of pressure to make sure it's tucked firmly against your body so people can't pop it out. Ball on the 30, they'll come up with a second and five. Long. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Now it's Long. And the catch made, this is Emmanuel Sanders. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. 
Luck on first down. Under pressure and down it goes. Luck is sacked. K-1 short with a sack. That's 315 pounds of man right there. Sacks a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back complete. Give him seven on the play. And all of a sudden here, it's third down. Now luck. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play. If you're on offense, be aware. A ball may come your way. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. Here's Luck. He'll hit the exit complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. He had his lone attempt blocked earlier. The kick by Lutz is good. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL. And it's a presentation of EA Sports. All right, Brent, thanks very much. Welcome, everybody, to our abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one is maybe not exactly in the bag yet, but there is definitely a big mountain to climb in this third quarter. The teams are already back out there, so let's not waste any time as we'll turn it back over to Brandon Godden. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Out comes the Dolphins now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never wanted to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than it is there. But this is a do that? I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. You know, pass complete here to Sanders. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Give him 12 yards there. The Dolphins have a first down. Back to back. Good plays. Have him on the move on first down. Back to throw. Luck. Sanders has it over the middle. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Chewing up big yards. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. They all came together there in breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the six. Here's Lock. And Olsen over the middle. Call that a gain of five as the clock ticks inside of two minutes to go now in the third. Second five after the five-yard completion on first down. On second down, this is Jackson. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. From the red zone now, Locke. That's out to Hill, right side complete. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Give him nine there on the first down completion. That last catch short of the mark by just a yard leaves him with very manageable second and one. His pass caught at the four. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They looked like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that they're very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of speech. I think. And he will score. Touchdown, Miami. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Dolphins are able to draw a bit closer. This was a pass all the way, but he just kept buying time, didn't he? It was kind of like, wait, wait. Oh, it's open. Time to hop foot it and go. And boy, was he successful. Yeah, didn't go to the outside toward the pylon, just straight ahead, middle third of the field. Shortest distance between two points. Straight line. 
Sanders is fielded at the chalk of the team. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. Now they've got the lead here getting late into the third quarter. And the passing game for them, it's been terrific. We've seen that with the rushing game almost non-existent. And with a lead and try to finish this game off, they need the running game to come back to life. They need to get sparked that way. Take some time off the clock and keep the ball away from their opponents. They keep it with Barkley on first down. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And touchdown. Saquon Barkley, 54 yards. And his guys find a way to stretch that lead. This offense, they were dynamic in the first half. The halftime break, that didn't slow them down at all. Big struck here in the third quarter. It's almost as if they were saying, it's not just our skill in the first half is getting this done, it's confidence as well. And confidence has taken over this game in a big way. How about these strikes that we're seeing? And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. So a jump there defensively. That's a killer. Watch the football. Don't move across the line of scrimmage until the ball moves. A boost here to start the drive after the penalty. It's first and five. Here's Luck. And caught left side Olsen. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Dolphins first down. The lock now, just one misfire so far after that last completion, 15 of 16. It's first down. The throw over the middle, taken in, and taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Give him 12 yards there, and the Dolphins have a first down. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves, but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week to get some momentum going. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. No luck. His throw incomplete. Bo Jackson, the intended receiver, but it'll be second down from the 24. They'll go again on second and 10. Luck now to throw. And that is caught from the north. 22 yards there, a first down. So another catch for Herman Moore, and back in his day, he was a volume receiver. He still is, I guess. He had no doubt about it. What do you have, over 100 catches three different times in the league? That's pretty impressive. Still holds the franchise mark with 123 catches way back in 95. touchdown pass it seems like more and more the tight end is the guy you have to worry about most in the passing game still an important piece of business to take care of the extra point and that'll cut the lead down now to 18 a drive that time of six plays and the gadget play gets him into the end zone so still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. And it looks like this one won't work out. Hands team able to secure the football. The fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And 
I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover. Under pressure here, and down he goes. Shaq back at about the 43-yard line. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Going with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the ball. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. So it looked like they were getting ready to convert on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on four. He's going to rifle one deep left side. This is caught. And they're going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. They were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late, and now that lead even more comfortable. And your first thought is, is there bad blood that went into this one ahead of time that maybe they're seeking some revenge or they just don't like them? But the other thing that always hits me is, are they worried about playoff positioning, right? Are they worried about, do you need enough points in case there's tiebreaker that comes into play later? Lutz with the extra point, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. This one fielded at the five. And he'll take this across the 25. Couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge. And so I said, Coach, what do you want to call? Just waved the hand like, who cares? Let's Make get out of here and do something some <laughs> other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. You got the big lead defensively willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just run and bleed the game out that way. To the right side, it's Kelsey. Now Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds left to go in the game. The Dolphins on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and four. Encroachment defense. So they got him coming up from his linebacker spot. And sometimes the position designation really doesn't matter. If you creep up to the line of scrimmage, you just have to look for the football. Make sure it moves before you do. They'll run now with Bo Jackson. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. But no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout. As they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. They run again with Jackson. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. And finally down at the 32-yard line. 23 yards the pick up there. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as the clock will stop with even 20 seconds left to go. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. From the gun, here's Locke. The tight end Kelsey has it over the middle. And a loose football. And the defense will get their hands on it, going the other way. And they get possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. Vic now, after the fumble recovery, he'll rifle this one deep right side. That's caught inside the 20. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. I tell you, Charles, 
You play to the final whistle, I get that, but there are a few folks that might not be too happy with that score late in the game with it already well in hand. You seem a little squeamish about that last I, score. I struggle with it. <laughs> I struggle. But on the other, the, the argument, I get it on the other side is, hey, do something about it. Stop them. I guarantee you, I know who was really excited. Fantasy owners yeah. who had them. They had listen, get the points for me. They're not worried about hurt feelings or anything like that. That's just new age stuff. Luck good on the extra point, and the lead will swell by one more. And we can break that scoring drive down pretty easily. One play, long touchdown pass into the end zone. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. This is taken at his four. Well, in this one, Parker, we had some action all the way down to the final.